in the building, Karen Wilson and his partner, Ian Hay. Looking forward to seeing how they both get on. But they've got a tough ask opening up. Isama Maschini, behind Chris Day and Sean Storey, has the most experience out there in the Ultimate Pool arena. He's been playing in the Ultimate Pool circuit for a few years now. He had runs in the Ultimate Pool Masters a couple of years ago, as well as performances in the Pairs Cup last year. And it's been a regular staple of the Challenger Series in recent times as well. Good opening break from the Moroccan. And it's a first poke at these for the London-based pairing. Yeah, first glance, these balls look very good indeed. Could make it, could have made a case for reds, but I prefer the yellows, depending on the yellow on the break line. If that goes top left, then it's not a problem ball at all, and it does look like it slides through the, the reds there. Sam Maschini with, I think I've said this every time I've seen him play, my personal favourite nickname in all of Q Sports, the small tiger. Uh -huh. oh. uh, it's a good shot to get on this yellow. But it's not a good angle to get onto the next one nicely. I can still find a route though. Just got to drop it in. Either be thin on the yellow to the left center or on the one at the bottom. That's a lovely cannon. Perfect, you might say. A big moment this for James Muir because he's a confident young man, but he, he is probably just about, along with Ian, I think, on Kyron's team tonight, the most inexperienced in terms of this level of competition. Yeah, I was chatting to him earlier, and he, he just wants to go out there and enjoy it and embrace it. And not uh, get too worried or overthink it. Just going to express yourself. That one's a little bit short. Even if they were playing on this one at the bottom, you wanted an angle on it to be able to go up the table to the one on the top. But the one at the top is not a good last ball, with the eight ball being where it is. Well, they had a little bit more angle than I thought, so they could get up there, but this still isn't a great last ball. You've either got to get across to the left-hand side or bring it all the way back down to the bottom right-hand corner. And a little bit betwixt and between here. Needs a really good shot from James Meir. Oh, he's unlucky. Didn't quite get into it as he would have liked, but it's a good effort at the pot. That visit went wrong pretty much from the very first shot. If they get straight in top left, they're probably, they could pretty much get out without having to play any sort of positional shot because the connections were good, and they just overran it, and they were chasing themselves back into position ever since. Karen Wilson thumps in his first red. Interesting to see how Ian goes. We absolutely all know Kyron Wilson can pot a ball, but I haven't seen Ian do it yet. But I suppose if you get called up to be Kyron's doubles partner, chances are you're a reasonable enough stick. But he played down his ability earlier on, did Ian? Oh, he's really unlucky that is Kyron Wilson. Might still have a shot. Yeah, they're on one to the middle, but if that drops, it makes the world of difference. I wonder if they can maybe look to play a snooker whilst playing a lost turn. Mm. Difficult, though, with it being trapped on the cushion. I don't think they can get that shot. It would be... The reds would be flying everywhere, and no guarantees of getting the yellow. I think they're going to have to either clip off this and, and hide the white or, or go for it, but going for it's not great. Looks like he's taking it on. Shots. Oh, what a good shot. And the reason I said it's not great is because you had to leave a red up there. So they're going to have to, well, for the angle they've got, they're going to have to go for that combination. There is a case for playing the snooker, but you'd be, it's such an easy one cushion escape if they get the snooker that you really should go for this. Discussion has been made. Uh, 
And that, I think, has gone wrong. I'm pretty sure that eight ball goes. Yeah. Yeah, it does. I can only assume he's trying to get down the left-hand side of the table and wasn't expecting to make the combination. But that was never really on. Tough one on the colour set for Reds there. It was a great effort from them initially to try and play the loss of turn shot. Didn't quite go their way in the opening frame. Goes to Meschini and Mia. This is the excellent shot there from Ian Hay. Super shot that. But from that stage, it, it was just simply a very difficult frame to win. Yeah, I think... If they're going to go for the combination, you take the one below the eight ball first and then go for it, go full-blooded. I didn't see it from that sort of distance, such a high tariff shot. Well, Karin did say the most important shot he felt coming into this was the break. And he now gets to feel what all pool players feel, regardless <laughs> of the level. The frustration of screwing straight in off. It's a good hit as well. These look pretty nice. Little cluster around the middle of the table, which Usama just needs to figure out. But if he can, I think the yellows are okay, but it's it's still a pretty smelly finish. It's work to do for sure. Good to see James up invested in it as well. Just seeing if he can add any help. So red's the choice. Obvious problem below the right centre pocket. Yeah, I'm just trying to work out if I'd rather have gone yellows. Could make a case there's only one bad yellow. Well, oh. there isn't any more. What a shot. Reds are good now. Reds are very good now. Brilliant from the small tiger. That was very impressive and very aggressive. Now they're all open. The red on the right-hand side, a little bit tricky still. And he's going to leave it. So it's going to take a very good shot to get back to it. May not be able to get very close to it, and if he's straight on this one to the top right now, may not be able to get to it at all in two shots' time. And if he doesn't feel like he can, he should take it now. In terms of the out, if he clipped it in now, get back across, then you've still got a chance. But if, yeah, he's gone forward for this one, but yeah, you can't pop this and get on that red. a huge amount to play it in that much pace into the middle pocket and get the cue ball across to the left-hand side. Yeah, it was a tough shot, that. If they'd clipped it in previously, and I said, but there's three left, then he got, he's got the one to the top right, the one he's just played. If he's just dropping it in for the eight ball, would have been fine, OK? It would have required a couple of really good pots, but you could at least see a cue ball there, but that route wasn't really available for him. Karen Wilson's first singles frame. Has he got the, the angle right hit to just kick out the bad yellow? Absolutely has. Going there is pretty nice because he may well be looking at it next. Now he could get through to that one to the top corner. We know he's not going to turn down a pot like that. That won't phase him at all. No, he's in good shape here. I might have left this one. I might have left this as my last ball. So I go left centre, what top of the line. 
The only reason I, you don't want the red between the yellow on the cushion and the eight ball to become a problem. It shouldn't do, because he's just going to pull back past it. But if the other yellow was in the middle of the table, then you'd just be playing on that one to then get on the eight ball. But when you can cue it like that, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's cued that dream, which is... I mean, you expect nothing less from a cueist like Kyron Wilson. Super shot. But we noticed this weekend, didn't we? That the snooker players are enjoying their pool. Kyron Wilson, the latest, teaming with his good mate, Ian Hay. Some local league partners, and they can both play, as we can see. Ian was keen to stress that the local doubles championships that he's won were won without Kyron Wilson when they actually <laughs> teamed together. They didn't take down the trophy. Love that. Kyron snooker record is fantastic, of course. He's currently the world number eight. He's been as high as number four in the past. You might have seen him not that long ago, knocking in a 147 at the Crucible. I tell you what, James Mir, for your first singles frame, that is about as good a break as you can ever hit. That is a monster. Balls flying in everywhere. Whew. And the layout's good. That's a boomer. Quite often when you make as many balls as this, you end up with a problem somewhere, but he hasn't. Maybe we need to call him the big tiger. <laughs> Second glance, though, he does have one issue to deal with. Thought the red bottom right did squeeze past the yellow, it doesn't. So he has got a problem. Looks really assured out there, Jamie. It's not easy to your first sort of experience in this kind of stage. Even just body language and just how you feel and look around the table is important. Well, he's got a shot. Love it, but he's got a shot. I think he has to take the red he's nearest to. Yeah. He's got to take it probably long. I look to see if it slides by the yellow. That doesn't really look on. No, I don't think that's on at all. Oh, this is a huge shot. I don't even know if the yellow is close enough to the pocket that he can come off the... No, he can't come off the jaw. What's he, what's he planning here? Well, I'm scratching my head here. I'm not sure what he's played. He could have, I mean, it wasn't an easy pot to the top right-hand corner, but he'd have gone very close and it would have been a natural cue ball. And if he makes it, he wins the frame. He's gone the other way and, well, well he's got, I he, mean, he's got a plan. He We're has about got to find yeah. out what it is. Oh, I mean, that is high tariff. So high tariff. Yeah, it was he's actually cued that really well. I just don't think that shot was possible. You'd have to have a few goes at that one to make it, you feel. That was not not a great shot. Let's put it this way around. The pot to the top right-hand corner was 10 times easier than the skill shot he's just taken on. Yeah. And if if he goes through the, the pot to the top right corner, he wins the frame. A bit of a showboat shot from Ian Hay. Not ideal for no, both to go in. All, but not ideal at all. But I suppose this frame will still come down to the double. If he floats this cue ball into the top half of the table, play the double, he can get out. I mean, you could make the case to play in the snooker, but it would be very risky. Well, he's tried to play into it, which looked tricky. Has he had a nudge? No. You could argue Ian and Karen have been a little bit unlucky with how things have fallen for them so far. Maschini and Mir have needed two attempts to win both of their frames. But, as you can see, they're very, very happy about it. And why wouldn't you be? The two London boys. It's the eye of the small tiger. Usama Maschini teaming with James Mir. Usama's record is very, very good. Former Moroccan champion. He went to the World Semi-Final at the Masters in the same year as well. Won the London Open in 2021, which was a big competition to win. 
as we mentioned a little bit earlier, teamed with Ian Alley last year, and they went very close to giving Mark Selby and Gareth Potts a real problem in the group stages in last year's competition. Ian Hayes, first break. Oh, that can't be dry, can it? Oh, that's tough. That's tough. Hard to believe. Look at this. Well, that's for everyone who says the pockets play big. How on earth has that red knock on it? Yeah. A little bit shocked. And unfortunately for them, they've left a, a very good chance here. Second shot clock we go. That's not ideal. It's, it's actually pulled up just in time. A little bit risky playing it with that much pace, but it's actually worked out okay. No, that hasn't. Tricky response required for the yellow, yellows here. The yellow on the brake line on the left hand side is a problem. And it's a tricky problem to solve. I think that's been a bit, bit of the story, really, for Ian and Kyron in this one. They may have to fly into this with lots of pace. I think that was the plan, is to leave the yellow thin into the left centre and then fly into that yellow. A 15-second shot clock comes around quick, doesn't it? Well, they've changed their mind. Maybe they felt they were too thin on it. Not on it this time. Shot here. Loss of it's not a bad loss of turn to play. Usama's immediately seen the next shot. So James is about to play it. You can play the red off the yellow, and that opens up the other red. It's delicate, but it's definitely on. Here it goes. It's a frame winner, and that would mean a match winner as well. Okay. Three one up. It won't be guaranteed, but won't be far off. As I say, it's been a bit of a a tough one for Ian Hay and Kyron Wilson. Every time they've come to the table when Maschini and Mir have made maybe a mistake, it's not been particularly easy to punish it. Not that the London boys will care. They go 3-1 in front. Just two minutes left on the clock. It's not all over. Golden break, golden duck in play. It's never over until it's over in this competition. But it's a long way back, that's for sure. I guess all you can say for making a case for the comeback here, you need a dry break, reverse clearance, and leave enough time that you can, at worst way, have a chance for a golden break. You only need to leave a couple of seconds on the clock for that to happen. You may not leave enough time for back-to-back -back finishes, and they're not going to get the chance here in this frame. Cool, that James Mere break is huge, isn't it? Good opening shot. And all the yellows have a pocket, so take your time and work your way through them. come a little bit far up the table or a little bit too short depending on which way round he played it
he's not going to get the clearance unless he pulls out a big shot here, which he might still be able to, yellow off red, but the damage is done. He has run the clock down significantly, and it will win them this match. Yeah, I'll give it a go as well off the red. Oh, shots. Brilliant. Can he get the finish? Seven seconds. Doesn't fancy the eight ball. He's going to leave it as is. And the win is in for James Mir and Usama Maschini.